Hi, this is Dr. Ikuo Tsunoda, assistant professor at the Department of Microbiology and Immunology, Louisiana State University, Shreveport. The National Multiple Sclerosis Society occasionally have events for public awareness of multiple sclerosis. This is one of such events where I threw the first pitch in a minor league baseball game in Salt Lake City, Utah. Here you can see the world leaders of MS research, Drs. John Rhodes, Noel Carlson, and Jim Burns, and representatives from the MS Society. I would love to continue joining this type of event. Let's move on to the last section, a role of axonal degeneration in a viral model for multiple sclerosis, Tyra's virus infection. As I explained in a previous session, Tyra's virus spreads in the central nervous system, CNS, using axonal transport. For example, if virus infect this neurons, virus shown in blue spread using axonal flow and can infect other neurons transsynaptically. Tyra's virus can also spread from axon to myelin sheaths. This will result in infection of oligodendrocytes, myelin forming cells. These are examples of Tyra's virus infection in neurons and oligodendrocytes, visualized by immunostaining against viral antigen. Since Tyra's virus uses axons to spread in the CNS, we wondered if preservation of axons in WLDS mice may favor the virus spread. We infected B6 and WLDS mice with Tyra's virus. This is the percentage of mice that developed paralysis. B6 mice shown in black are known to be resistant to Tyra's virus infection. And most mice did not develop disease during the six month observation period. In contrast, 30% of WLDS mice, shown in red, develop paralysis during the acute stage, and 50% of WLDS mice showed paralysis during the chronic stage of Tyra's virus infection. So this is opposite from what we saw in EAE. These are examples of WLDS mice infected with Tyra's virus two weeks after infection. You can see flaccid paralysis of the hind limb on your left or paralysis of the tail on your right. These are examples of WLDS mice infected with Tyra's virus two weeks after infection. You can see flaccid paralysis of the hind limb on your left or paralysis of the tail on your right. This is what most likely happened in Tyra's virus infection. Tyra's virus can spread in the brain using axons. In B6 mice, after virus infection, axonal degeneration occurred in axons and this prevented virus spread to the next neuron. On the other hand, in WLDS mice, preservation of axons allowed the virus to spread to the next neurons in the brain. This results in more active virus replication in the brain. Here, the prolonged survival of axons in WLDS mice favors virus spread. So if we compare these two strains, axonal degeneration in B6 mice was good 
in Tyra's virus infection. This suggests that axonal degeneration can be a self-destructive defense mechanism that limits virus spread in the brain. In summary, axonal degeneration can be good or bad. In EAE, axonal degeneration results in higher anti-myelin autoimmune responses and high levels of demyelination, leading to disease progression. In contrast, in Tyra's virus infection, axonal degeneration prevents virus spread in the brain. This results in low levels of inflammation and mice develop no disease. This suggests that axonal degeneration can be a self-destructive defense mechanism that limits spread of toxic substances, in this case, virus. Therefore, caution should be taken with a future therapeutic strategy targeting axonal degeneration. I hope that you enjoyed my seminar. If you have questions and comments on my seminar, or wish to have more information on my research in multiple sclerosis over the past 20 years, please visit my website or email me. Thank you. This is Ikuo Tsunoda.